Welcome to Growing Chatham, North Carolina Cooperative Extension Chatham County Center's podcast for October 2022. I'm Tiffany Hancock. The Chatham County Cooperative Extension staff will be attending the 2022 State Extension Conference in Greensboro from October 3rd through the 5th. And as such, our office will be closed for normal operations. We will return on Thursday, October 6th. The right to repair gives equipment owners the property rights of the equipment that they own to have the right to repair their equipment and or to have their equipment serviced at an independent repair shop. In addition, right to repair gives equal access to information on manuals, diagrams, software, software updates, licenses, parts, tools, and more. Just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter to access the link to the public comment section on the North Carolina State Legislature website to leave any remarks. National 4-H Week is coming October 2nd through the 8th, 2022. Join us in celebrating the power of 4-H programs, empowering nearly 6 million young people across the U.S. and over 2,400 right here in Chatham County with the skills to lead for a lifetime. On September 19th, 2022, the Chatham County Board of Commissioners voted to adopt a resolution proclaiming October 2nd, Through the 8th, 2022 is National 4-H Week in Chatham County. To see this proclamation, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter. Since 2010, the Tractor Supply Company has partnered with 4-H to help create opportunity for all and raise more than $14 million through the Paper Clover campaign. The success of these campaigns has impacted over 81,500 youth by providing them with the tools and resources they need to move forward and to reach their full potential. 100% of the funds raised through the biannual Paper Clover campaign directly benefits 4-H youth. 90% of the donations directly support 4-H youth in the state where the funds were raised, and the remaining 10% supports the overall mission and growth of 4-H nationally. By donating at your local track or supply of Solar City, you will help support Chatham County 4-H. Our fall campaign starts October 5th and it runs until October 16th, 2022. So don't forget to visit Tractor Supply of Solar City and help support 4-H through the Paper Clever campaign. We are so excited to announce we have a new team member joining us this month. Her name is Bobby McLean, and she joins the Chatham County Center as our new 4-H extension agent on October 3rd. So please be on the lookout for announcements and programming for Miss Bobby soon. Welcome aboard, Miss Bobby. We're so excited to have you. Chatham 4-H Livestock Show was a success. The youth battled the elements of a dreary, rainy day on September 10th at the Chatham County Agriculture and Conference Center in Pittsburgh to compete in the annual 4-H Farm Credit Showmanship Circuit. The event, co-sponsored regionally by Cape Fear Farm Credit and Carolina Farm Credit, was sponsored locally in Chatham County by Chatham County Farm Bureau, Quality Equipment of Pittsburgh, Country Farm and Home, and Pittsburgh Feed. Twenty youth from Chatham Adam and surrounding counties took part in the heifer and sheep showmanship and confirmation classes during the course of the day. In total, more than $1,100 in premiums were paid out to talented youth who traveled home with numerous ribbons and prizes in tow. Many thanks to all of our volunteers and supporters who helped make the day such a success. Best of luck to our young people as they continue to compete on the circuit this fall. Our heifer showmanship show results. Our junior class first place went to Sophie Marshall. Second place, Tyla Marshall. And third place, Carson Moore. Intermediate class first place was Jonathan Scarlett. Second place, Charlotte Payne. Third place, Candace Chapman. Senior class first place, Caroline Scarlett. Second place, Avery Hatfield. Third place, Gavin Moore. Heifer Cop Formation Show results, Grand Champion went to Sophie Marshall and the Reserve Grand Champion went to Tyla Marshall. Sheep Showmanship Show results, Junior Class First Place was Elena Oxendine. Intermediate Class First Place was Jolene Windsor. Second Place was Charlotte Payne. Third Place, Hunter Herndon. Senior Class First Place went to Anna Wells. Second Place, 
Addison Ferris. Sheep confirmation show results. Grand champion went to Anna Wells, and the reserve grand champion went to Addison Ferris. Congratulations. North Carolina State Fair provides opportunities to our 4-Hers. The North Carolina State Fair provides 4-Hers with a wonderful opportunity to market 4-H and their county by participating in 4-H crafts, 4-H photography, 4-H hay bale decorating, and 4-H entomology exhibit competitions. There are premiums offered to the winners in each area. 4-Hers must pre-register through the fair to have their exhibits judged for placing. So good luck to our Chatham County State Fair participants. We look forward to seeing you at the State Fair October 13th through October 23rd, 2022. Chatham County 4-H presents Fall Fun STEM Day. Off we go to Huckleberry Farm on October 14th, 2022 from 8.30 until 3. Join us for the corn maze, pumpkin picking, games, STEM activities, and more. Bring your bag lunch. Fun for ages 5 through 12. Registration is limited, but you can sign up now by accessing the Growing Chattel newsletter and clicking on the link. To access the newsletter, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chattel 1022. Extension agent Matt Jones wants you to register now for the upcoming plant ID class, which begins October 10th. This fall, we will be holding four of our popular online plant ID classes offered in partnership with Longwood Gardens. The classes run from October 10th to November 21st, and students will have access to course materials for an additional six months after the class ends. You may click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter for more details and to register for this class. Join us for the Worm Composting 101 webinar and workshop. This is part of the Chatham Extension Gardener Series. Vermicomposting, earthworm composting, turns many types of kitchen food scraps into nutritious soil amendments or growth media for plants. When vermicompost is added to soil, it boosts the nutrients available to plants and enhances soil structure and drainage. Join Matt Jones, Extension Horticulture Agent, North Carolina Cooperative Extension, and Shannon Culpepper, Recycling and Education Specialist, Chatham County Solid Waste and Recycling, for a webinar and workshop on how to compost food waste using worms. This workshop includes two components. The online webinar is on October 13th, 2022 from 5.30 until 6.30 p.m. This free recorded webinar will review the principles and practices of vermicomposting. You'll learn what kind of worms you need, how to prepare the bedding, what kind of food waste worms will feed on, how to maintain the worm bin, and how to extract and use vermicompost, which is worm waste, to improve garden soils. Hands-on worm bin building workshop will take place on October 20th, 2022 from 5.30 until 7 p.m. The optional additional hands-on workshop will give you the supplies to build your own worm bin. We will provide worms, bins, bedding, and other materials and show you how to build your bin. This workshop costs $50 to cover supply cost. The registration deadline for the workshop is October 9th. You can access the link for more information or to register in the Growing Chatham newsletter. The Humble Kasha, versatile, easy to grow, and keeps well. By Dusty Hancock, Master Gardener Volunteer in Chatham County. This mildly sweet and meaty winter squash is the equivalent to a talented utility infielder in baseball. It can fill multiple roles easily in the culinary world. It can be used like normal summer squash and be baked or fried. It can be used like a pumpkin and puree to make the most delicious pies. It even does a real good job of imitating sweet potatoes. Home decorators may prefer to use it as a fall decoration. Before serving it up at supper, there's something for everyone. To read more about the humble Kasha, click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter. Nature Near Homes lowers health care costs. Many of us know, we feel, how essential nature is for our health and well-being. We seek fresh air, sunshine, birdsong, flowers, and leaves fluttering in the breeze. Such exposures to nature makes us feel happy and alive. 
collectively cost were $374 lower per person per year for those living near the greenest space compared to those living near the least green space. Greening might offer an inexpensive, widely applicable strategy for improving population health and reducing health costs. Click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter to access the research and the additional information. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1022. Extension agent Debbie Roos wants to know, have you seen the largest butterfly in the United States? Every week, and sometimes every day, extension agents get asked to identify all sorts of interesting things. We get stopped on the street or queried through emails, social media, text, calls, and or office visits by folks wanting to know what this plant, this bug, this snake, this insect egg, this crop disease, this, well, you get the picture. It keeps us on our toes and actually, for Debbie, is an enjoyable part of her job, especially if she gets to learn something new. A few years ago, she started hearing from folks asking her to identify a large butterfly they had seen in their yard, one that they had never seen before. Even though she had never seen one in person, it was so distinctive she knew it was an eastern giant swallowtail butterfly the largest butterfly in the U.S. Back when these sightings began, she talked with one of our state butterfly experts who was surprised to learn that the giant swallowtail was in Chatham County. This species is found primarily along the North Carolina coast, but can also be found in some counties in the mountains and Piedmont region. The North Carolina Butterfly Atlas has a range map showing county distribution for the giant swallowtail. It is considered an uncommon butterfly Butterfly here. The U.S. range for the giant swallowtail tail includes the eastern United States and went to the Rocky Mountains and the south through the desert southwest. You can click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter to read the full story. Chatham County Extension host beekeeping training for North Carolina beekeepers. On September 16th through 17th, 2022, the North Carolina State University Apiculture Program teamed up with Chatham County Center of North Carolina Cooperative Extension to conduct the 2022 Beekeepers Education Engagement System Academy, the Bees Academy, at the Chatham County Agriculture and Conference Center in Pittsburgh. About 60 experienced beekeepers from across the state attended to deepen their understanding of honeybee biology and behavior and learn advanced honeybee management techniques. There was a mix of lecture and hands-on breakout sessions for small groups. At the end of the two days, over 20 attendees took an exam to advance their standing in the Master Beekeeper program. You can click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter for more details and to view the photos from the training. Debbie has posted some of her favorite photos from the late summer in Extension's Pollinator Paradise Garden on the Growing Small Farms website. You'll find insects and other critters and the blooms that they all love and depend on just by clicking on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter. October Chatham Conservation Partnership Meeting is coming up. The October Chatham County Conservation Partnership Meeting will focus on conservation priorities, science, and community. Please join us on Tuesday, October 20th, 2022 from 9 until 11.30 a.m. for a virtual meeting where we will provide information and updates to some of the county's land conservation priorities being developed at the local, regional, and state levels, and how these priorities are influenced by science and the Chatham County community. You may click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter to register for this virtual meeting. Registration deadline is 5 p.m. on October 19th. Registrants will receive an email prior to the event with the Zoom link. To access the links in the stories, just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1022. Here's some livestock news from Extension Agent Christina Britt, the last of the over-the-counter antibiotics webinar. 
Coming up November 1, 2022, medically important antibiotics used to treat livestock will soon be leaving farm store shelves near you. Come learn about which antibiotics will be impacted by this FDA guidance and what you can do to prepare your farm for this transition. Registration is required. Join via phone, tablet, or computer. You may click on the link to register for this webinar. Coming up November 4th from 9 a.m. until 3 p.m., Equine Nutrition Workshop at 763 Fur Road, Vast, North Carolina. Join North Carolina Cooperative Extension in presentations including hay and feed tag analysis, hay testing demo, minerals and supplements, pasture management, and nutritional health problems. Register by October the 28th. You can click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter for more details and to register. A free meal is included in this workshop. Save these dates, Women in Ag Day. February 1st, 2023 at the Moore County Extension Center. Piedmont Beef Tour coming up March 24th, 2023. Fencing School is coming up October 25th, 2022 from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Hosted by North Carolina Cooperative Extension, sponsored by Stay Tough Fence Manufacturing. This event will be held at Butner Beef Cattle Field Lab 8800 Cassum Road, Bahama, North Carolina. No matter what livestock species you have or won't, this will be a great opportunity to gain hands-on fence building experience with the experts. You can find the registration form in the Growing Chatham newsletter. Space is limited to 30 attendees, so register early. The cost is $40 per person. Registration is due by October 18th. Much of the day will be outside, so please dress appropriately for the weather and bring gloves and eye protection. If you should have any questions, call Kim Woods at 336-599-1195 or 919-603-1350. Or you can contact Matthew Place at 252 257-3640. The Chatham County Nichols for Know-How Referendum. The Chatham County Nichols for Know-How Referendum will be held on Thursday, November 17th, 2022. Christina Britt, County Referendum Chairman, said one polling place has been established in the county, which will be located at the Chatham County Extension Center, 1192 U.S. 64 Business, Pittsburgh. Britt explains that the referendum is being held to let users and producers of feed or fertilizer decide if they wish to continue the self-assessment program. This program has been in place since 1948, and the law requires that a new referendum be held every six years. A two to three favorable vote will mean that the growers are willing to continue to access themselves to support agricultural research and education. The assessment is 15 cents per 100 pounds on feed and fertilizer produced in North Carolina. The funds, about $1.4 million annually, are collected by the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services and then allocated by the North Carolina Agricultural Foundation includes 148 volunteer board of directors to support agricultural research and extension projects at North Carolina State University benefiting agriculture in North Carolina. For more information on the referendum, please call the Chatham County Extension Office at 919-542-8242. Make plans to attend the Western North Carolina Meat Goat Conference October 28, 2022. The conference will be held at Western North Carolina Ag Center Livestock Sales Arena located at 1301 Fanning Bridge Road, Fletcher, North Carolina. The conference is free and open to anyone interested in meat goat production. The conference precedes the Carolina Kiko Classic Goat Sale, which will be held at the same location at 1 p.m. on October 29th, 2022. For more information, just visit the Growing Chatham Newsletter. Do you have backyard poultry? If so, you should know the six steps for backyard poultry biosecurity. Check out the Growing Chatham newsletter to see the flyer. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1022. Chatham County Extension Director Ginger Cunningham has some forestry news she'd like to share. A new invasive insect has been spotted in North Carolina. 
In August 2022, the elm zigzag sawfly was found in North Carolina for the first time. In North America, it has previously been found in Quebec and Virginia. Native to Asia, elm zigzag sawfly larvae feed exclusively on elm and can cause severe defoliation. For more information about the elm zigzag sawfly, please visit the Growing Chatham newsletter to access the link. Bradford Pear Bounty, back with two events this fall. The Bradford Pear Bounty is back. After a successful inaugural event in April, North Carolina's Bradford Pear Bounty is coming to two new towns this fall. October 15, 2022 in Matthews, which is in Mecklenburg County, and October 22, 2022 in Monroe, which is located in Union County. This program encourages homeowners to remove their landscape of Bradford pears and replace them with free native trees. Homeowners who want to participate in this event must pre-register and bring proof of the tree removal to the event. Replacement trees are in three or five gallon containers, and there are many native species to choose from. Up to five pear trees can be removed for up to five free replacements. You can find the link in the growing Chatham newsletter for more information and to pre-register. The 2022 Forest Landowner Conference is coming up. The Roanoke Electric Cooperative Sustainable Forestry and Land Retention Project will host the 2022 Forest Landowner Conference in Rocky Mount. The purpose of the Forest Landowner Conference is to educate landowners on sustainable forestry practices, on programs and technical assistance available through state and federal forestry and natural resource agencies, on the local timber industry, and on strategies for estate planning, including wills and trust. Admission is free, but advanced registration is required. For more details, just click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter. The United States Department of Agriculture National Agroforestry Center recently announced the launch of a unique 10-part webinar series, which will highlight how different USDA programs can be used to advance agroforestry adoption. Each webinar will include one USDA representative and one program participant who has used the program to enhance their agroforestry work. Highlighted programs include the National Resources Conservation Service, Conservation Innovation Grant Program, and the USDA Forest Service Landscape Scale Restoration Program. These webinars are intended to help landowners, agroforesters, and others learn how to best utilize various USDA programs. On the first Friday of each month, with the first installment, which began on September 2nd, 2022, and running through June 2nd, 2023, this series series will highlight a different USDA program. All webinars will take place from 3 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Participation is free, but registration is required. Webinar recordings will be made available once each webinar has passed. You can click on the link in the Growing Chatham newsletter for more details. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1022. Liz Maltney, program assistant, has some exciting events that are coming up around the county that she'd like to share with you. Chatham County Parks and Recreation announces the Sidewalk Chalk Festival coming up October 15th from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. at the park at Briar Chapel. Enjoy a morning at the park with live music from Eric Summer, coffee and pastries from Carolina Cravings, and artwork. For more information, you can just click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter. Chatham County Parks and Recreation's annual Trunk or Treat Fall Festival at Southwest District Park coming up Saturday, October 29, 2022 from 2 until 5 p.m. Looking for a bargain? Come shop with the Salvation Army. Quality food at low cost. Selection varies weekly. Proceeds benefit the Chatham County's Salvation Army. Countryside Collectibles and Antique Mall, booth number 46, 219 Chatham Square, Solar City, North Carolina. Hours are from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 1 p.m. until 6 p.m. on Sunday. Chatham County, North Carolina Pre-K has openings for eligible four-year-old children in its high-quality classrooms for fall of 2022. Pre-K openings are available at Bennett School, Chatham Child Development Center, Chatham Grove Elementary, 
Children First Learning Center, North Chatham Elementary, Perry Harrison Elementary, Pittsburgh Elementary, Siler City Elementary, Telemon Head Start, and Virginia Cross. The program is free for children who qualify. To be eligible for North Carolina Pre-K, a child must turn four years old on or before August 31, 2022, and meet other qualifications. For more information, visit the Growing Chatham Newsletter. Share the road with farmers as North Carolina continues to grow and our cities expand into traditionally rural areas, folks are increasingly likely to encounter farm equipment on local roads. We discuss how to drive safely around farm equipment and why sharing the road with these tractors, combines, and other equipment benefits you as much as the farmer. You can view this video just by accessing the growing Chatham newsletter and clicking on the video portion. The Resource Hub is headed your way. We will be at Cedar Grove United Methodist Church Thursday, October 13th from 5 until 7 p.m. Technology Way Tuesday, October 25th from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Join us at Southwest District Park for Trunk or Treat with Chatham County Parks and Recreation Saturday, October 29th from 2 until 5 p.m. See you soon! Extension agent Tara Gregory is excited to announce the Freezing to Preserve Food at Home virtual class. This workshop is designed for anyone interested in learning more about safely freezing food at home. This class will cover the science behind freezing basics of freezing different types of food, thawing, and freezing emergencies. This virtual class will be held October 25th from 12 until 1. You must pre-register. You can access the registration by visiting the Growing Chatham newsletter. Are you a parent or caregiver to children under the age of 5? If yes, have you ever struggled figuring out what to feed them or how to get them to eat healthy foods? Raising Good Eaters is an upcoming class series aimed at helping to take the pressure off mealtimes, give you more understanding of the nutritional and behavioral needs for this age group, and discuss tools and strategies for children ages 1 to 5 years old. There are four pre-recorded classes that will be released weekly starting Monday, October 24th. Question and answer sessions with Tara, the instructor, will be offered weekly on October 30th. 31st, November 7th, 14th, and 21st. You can click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter to register for this self-paced class series. Okay, all you cooks out there that love a challenge, we have one for you. The Budget Recipe Challenge. With the high food prices, it's important to find healthy and delicious recipes that go easy on your budgets. If you have just the recipe, we'd love for you to join our Budget Recipe Challenge this fall. Submit a recipe for a balanced meal on a budget, like one-pot meals, casseroles, or a main dish with sides. Recipes must include at least one vegetable or fruit and at least one of the following, a whole grain, beans, or a healthy fat source like olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, or nut butters. Include your recipe's cost per serving when you submit your recipe. Limit of two recipe entries per person. Submissions will be accepted October 10th through November 7th. Look for the recipe challenge link on the Chatham County Cooperative Extension website starting October 10th. Judges from North Carolina Cooperative Extension and the Chatham County Library will determine a grand prize winner and a first place winner from each library district. This event is being hosted by North Carolina Cooperative Extension Chatham County Center and the Chatham County Public Libraries. Brandy King, County Extension Administrative Assistant, wants you to be aware of holiday budget busters. As we go into October, we start thinking about all the holidays that are coming up. Taking a moment to come up with a plan to stay on budget will help us enjoy those upcoming holidays a little more. Amanda Christensen with Utah State University Extension shares some financial tools to help you beware of some of the holiday budget busters. You can check out Amanda's video in the growing Chatham newsletter by visiting go.ncsu.edu forward slash growing Chatham 1022. Okay, this month I want to share with you some little tidbits about the State Fair. Counting down to the opening of the North Carolina State Fair since 1853. In 1853, the State Agricultural Society holds the first state fair. 
It was four days long. The largest attendance day had 4,000 fair goers. From 1861 until 1868, the fair was not held due to the Civil War and Reconstruction period. In 1869, the fair reopens. 1873, the fair moved to a larger site across from North Carolina State University. In 1877, the North Carolina Department of Agriculture was created. 1884, electricity is first used at the fairgrounds. In 1891, the first Midway ride, the Switchback Railway, is constructed on the fairgrounds. In 1894, photography is a popular exhibit at the fair. And in 1895, the main attraction is chicken incubators. Want more tidbits and facts about the State Fair? Well, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter. Check out the map and see if you can find the old State Fairgrounds. And don't miss the North Carolina State Fair promo video that was created between 1972 and 1974. This was from the collections of the State Archives of North Carolina. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1022. From our Chatham County Partners COVID Shot Update from the Chatham County Health Department, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and U.S. Food and Drug Administration have authorized a new booster vaccine designed to provide the strongest protection against the new variants, which causes COVID 19, and the vaccine is now available in Chatham County. For more information, you can click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter. Chatham County unveils VinFast Project web page and e notification. For more information, you can click on the link in the growing Chatham newsletter. Semiconductor manufacturer selects Chatham County, North Carolina for $5 billion investment. To read this story, just visit the growing Chatham newsletter. Enroll in the Chatham County Voluntary Agricultural District Program. There are benefits to enroll. To find out if you qualify, just visit the growing Chatham newsletter. The Chatham County Agriculture Advisory Board has three vacancies. If you're interested in serving, just visit the Growing Chatham newsletter for more details. Just visit go.ncsu.edu forward slash Growing Chatham 1022. Well, we've come to an end to this month's podcast. I'll be back next month with more details about upcoming workshops and events, new articles, and videos. Until then, have a great October, and I'll be back in November. I'm Tiffany Hancock, Marketing and Media Support Specialist for North Carolina Cooperative Extension Chatham County Center.